For his 107 years, Richard lived in relative anonymity, a World War II veteran who fought in the Pacific. He could usually be found post-retirement on the porch of his Austin, Texas home, smoking cigars and chatting up his extensive circle of family and friends. Then in 2013, he visited Washington, D.C. and was referred to in the media as the oldest living U.S. veteran. Suddenly, a veteran was an in-demand celebrity. Texas Governor Rick showed up at his door bearing whiskey. President Barack Obama invited him to the White House. The San Antonio Spurs gave him a number 110 jersey and brought him onto the court for a standing ovation, and he became a staple at Austin Civic event, such as the annual Veterans Day Parade. Meanwhile, strangers began sending him cigars in the mail, calling him on the phone or coming by the house to thank him for his military service. Under doctor's orders, his relatives limited his porch time so that he didn't overextend himself, yet they acknowledged he thrived on the fame. In addition to spending several years as the oldest US veteran, Everton was also thought to be the oldest living male in the United States before his death on December 27, 2018, at the age of 112. Though dependent on 24 home care at the end, friends and family say his mind remained sharp. At the age of 111, he still walked and took no regular medication stronger than aspirin. Overturn credited Garden Cigars for his longevity. Telling history in 2016, he still smoked about 12 a day, but that he never inhaled. Overturn did not gain widespread recognition, however, until coming to the attention of Alan, chairman of Honor Flight Austin, a non profit that flies veterans to Washington DC to visit the memorials built in their honor. The two became friends and in May 2013, Honor Flight Austin brought the then 107 year old on his first ever trip to Washington where according to Bergeron, he was so blown away by the beauty of the World War II and Martin Luther King Jr. memorials that he started crying. On the same trip as he passed by Arlington National Cemetery, Bergeron overheard Overturn mumbling to himself, God bless those soldiers. By then somewhat of media sensation, Overturn returned to Washington that Veterans Day for breakfast at the White House with President Obama and Vice President Joe Biden. He also rode in the presidential motorcade. Obama gave a ceremonial speech, singling him out for praise. Thousands of people donated to cover his home care costs and the Home Depot Foundation and Meals on Wheels Central Texas renovated his house for free after a plug melted into an outlet and nearly caused a fire. He even received air conditioning for the first time back at home after a bout with pneumonia in 2016. Overton said, I'm still living and doing good. The story has been updated to reflect that Richard. Overton died on December 27, 2018 at the age of 112 after being hospitalized for pneumonia. And you might have seen his documentary on National Geographic channel as well. And this video is just a follow up for that. Thank you for watching, please subscribe to get some more updates on such topics.